uh, people will appreciate his art only centuries later. So kings and queens used to live here, and the first one that decided to move away from Louvre was the King Louis XIV, the Sun King. So he built the Palace of Versailles way out on the outskirts of Paris. Now let's have a look here on the right-hand side. We have the archway. Uh, this is the Arch of Carousel. The Arch of Carousel. So maybe it reminds us of something. Can you see the horses at the top? The quadriga, four horses. We have seen these horses where? In Rome. In Venice. Uh, in Venice we have seen them. Huh? In Venice we have seen the horses where? At the top of St. Mark's Basilica. And if you have a look, we know the arch. We know the arch. We have the view of another arch, uh, the Triumph Arch, the Arch of Triumph. Huh? And we have the avenue of diamonds and rubies, the avenue of diamonds and rubies, because the back lights are red and the headlights are yellow. Huh? So the French, they're kind of... Uh, Romantic, uh, so they call it the Avenue of Diamonds and Rubies. Uh. So Louvre originally a uh, royal palace and below us, you know where we are now, below us is a huge, huge complex. Uh, there are some Roman sculptures, uh, some Greek sculptures, and there is also a big complex of restaurants and they serve food from all over the world. Uh. And of course, there's that big, huge, enormous coach parking as well. Uh, Louvre got its coach parking before Vatican. I remember when I started this job, we had to get stuck in terrible traffic jams uh, here along the road. And uh, now, though, it's very comfortable to drive around here because all the coaches are parked. The second bridge, uh, the first one, you see, it's pedestrian bridge. The second bridge is called Pont Neuf, or the new bridge. It is ironically the oldest of all the uh, bridges in Paris. Now these two islands is where the first tribes settled. Huh? Parisi, they call themselves Parisi. So they're the ones that gave the name to the city of Paris, yeah? Parisi, Paris. And you see this intense light on the left hand side? This intense light comes from bateau bush or mosquito boats. Huh? Mosquito boats, uh, they are so called because they're said to attract a lot of mosquitoes. Huh? They do the cruises up and down the river Seine and it is that area to the left, you know, that they have converted to the beach of Paris. They brought sand, huh? so there you can go to the beach if you want and for a swim. Huh? Now we're going to make a right turn. Here by the river we see some old boxes, huh? some green boxes, and this is where the people that call themselves Le Bouquinista, uh, during the day, they open up the boxes. Uh, if we have a look right by the trees, uh, these green boxes, they open up the boxes and they sell secondhand prints, books, posters and stuff like that. You see this little green here in the street called Maxime. This is where Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, uh, she would come for her dinners uh, with Onassis himself. And Christian Dior liked to go to that restaurant as well. His specialty was a strawberry soup. Uh, and if you turn all the way back there to the right, we have the hotel, famous hotel, the Crillon. Crillon, this is where Coco Chanel, another famous designer, Coco Chanel, this is where she uh, spent the last years of her life. Uh. And behind the trees to the right, we have the American Embassy. Oh, we can't see it from here, but it's hidden. You can see just the top of the USA Embassy behind the trees to the right. So now we're going to make a right turn and we enter into a very famous Parisian street, uh, the Avenue of Champs Elysees, called the Avenue of Diamonds and Rubies. Uh, the Avenue of Diamonds and Rubies. Uh, now, they say that it's called the Avenue of Diamonds and Rubies because the back lights are red and the headlights are yellow. So, uh, what does Champs-Élysées mean? Champs-Élysées, 